Hey, hey guys, thank you so so much for tuning in and welcome back to my channel if you're new here My name is Jen and I love all things color. We talk about makeup skincare For this video, it's gonna be makeup lipstick and specific as you can see from the title so NARS has come out with a brand new lipstick and these are my favorite kinds of videos to make to be honest lipstick review just watches and stuff like that so relaxing and so fun so if you like these kinds of videos definitely give this video a thumbs up and uh subscribe if you haven't already i would very much appreciate it and if you're new here definitely come say hi in the comment section i would love to meet you so let's start NARS has come out with a brand new lipstick so we're going to be doing swatches and then talk about the longevity and how I liked it is it drying or not drying right now I have the opposite right now I have like a glossy lip stain situation I basically what I did was I put lip balm on this is the Jack Black intense therapy lip balm it has SPF in it and then I just put the Chanel what is this called number one the Chanel and a lip and cheek balm basically this is an incredibly long-lasting little beauty. I love this. You can, like, this is nice and darker red. It can even be like a popsicle stain and longevity is crazy. So crazy. I have this on my lips and on the cheeks. Maybe that's why my skin looks very reddish today. I'm not sure. But, yeah. Anyways, that's what I have on my lips, but this is the exact opposite of what I have on, like I mentioned. This is a transfer proof lipstick, but it's not a liquid lipstick. It is like a regular cream lipstick. It looks like a traditional lipstick, but it's transfer proof. And NARS is this transfer proof lipsticks. They all go by the Power Matte line. So this is also called the Power Matte Lipstick. They also have the Power Matte Liquid Lipstick. Those are transfer proof liquid lipsticks. So this retails for $34. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not very enthused by the fact of these traditional lipsticks, but transfer proof, you know, it kind of, I don't know. Dior came up with one recently. I wasn't very thrilled about it, to be honest. It wasn't very impressive and i me personally a traditional lipstick would kind of melt off it's very possible that it can melt off if you live in a like hot climate and i don't know it's an expensive lipstick you know i definitely prefer the liquid form of lipstick whatever be it if it's like a you know like a satin lipstick or a transfer proof one or a gloss whatever it is i definitely prefer the liquid version but yes oh god it's so oily so oily and the lights are really making me sweat too sorry about that i think it's a little better all right 34 dollars and uh you get 1.5 grams of product that's not a full size to be honest but the Lipstick is kind of on the, in the skinny side, the skinny packaging. So yeah, it is this, that's how much I anticipated you would get because it's on the skinny side and you have that skinny tube in there as well in order to, you know, prevent the breakage of the lipstick, actual lipstick itself. So I gotta say, I kind of like oohed and odd when I like first saw the packaging. It's very sexy. It's like all red matte red it has nars on the side very very sexy packaging to be honest it's also very sturdy as well and then uh you get 1.5 grams and 34 dollars and where is this made italy okay this is made in italy 34 dollars 1.5 grams of products and i got it in the shade dragon girl so i dragon girl is a red lipstick so i don't know if all the lipsticks are color coded of or if all of them are just the same packaging but the lipstick is exactly the same bright red color so i don't know about that because i only got one shade so let's first do the swatch and then let me take that's what it looks like very pretty let's do one swatch and that's intense opaque 100 percent opaque color payoff and yeah that's about it let's take this off oh boy, 
don't like see this go because it was so comfortable and such a bright pop of color all right let's put this on and then we'll definitely do a kiss test as well it's very smooth guys so i want you to remember oh wow look how vibrant that is what a pop of color just so bright i believe the shade dragon girl this is the one i got is a cult favorite i think they do have this particular color in other uh i don't know, like in a lip crayon form or traditional lipstick regular you know lipstick as well I, if i'm not wrong but this is the first time i'm trying dragon girl from nars so that's what it looks like i have to say it doesn't have the dry silicone slip feel but it went on very smoothly and um, mine is actually already setting because when it went on it was it had that like you know like your know, traditional lipstick sensation on the lips but now i can feel that it is kind of setting i still feel a tackiness if i press my lips together not like crazy tacky not like sticky but i can you know like tacky equals moisture left in your lips that kind of a tackiness you know what i mean not like like i don't know like powder dry kind of feel but you know some kind of moisture left in your lips so that kind of a sensation is what i look for in a uh, you know like liquid lipstick or a transfer proof lipstick and as you can see it kind of uh sets into like a very airbrushed like a dry matte finish my lips is so matte looking not even a hint of uh lip balm and i did have a little bit of lip balm left just the tiniest bit because i didn't like rub my lips completely before applying the lipstick so i did have some amount left but yeah and i'm pressing my lips together it's not like uh, patches are not disappearing or anything. And I really like this very matte looking finish. Very editorial and everything. So yeah, let's do a kiss test. And yeah. Oh, there's a little bit of transfer because I have to say I did have a little bit of remnants from the lip balm. But when I was playing around, when I first got a lipstick and was trying to put it put it and like, you know, find how how long it like stays and everything. I I put it to test when I had such dry lips. It was my lips were so dry and there was zero transfer. So in a practical sense, I would probably would put something on before putting this lipstick on just because, you know, uh, so this is the amount of transfer you would get if you are also in the, um, you know, the habit of putting some amount of lip balm underneath. This is the transfer you'd get. But if you have great lips and you don't need to put anything underneath moisturizing, you would get zero transfer and even even with transfer i think um i still have a good amount of vibrant red lipstick left it looks like new to be honest if you ask me so yeah and let's talk about the time i put this lipstick on with when it was so dry i have to say it added comfort like i said it, there's something in this li in, in these lipstick that kind of form that moisture tackiness not like sticky like i said that tackiness when you press your lips together it feels comfort so definitely i'm impressed with the formula because it does add comfort even when your lips are feeling dry and the transfer proof aspect is there everything is there to be honest i do i wasn't expecting to like this lipstick i just bought it because nars makes such kick-ass formula and i just didn't want to you know let go of the opportunity uh, of making of making a video as well and share my thoughts with you guys. But I am impressed. I do gotta admit it's it's actually a good formula. It's really good. And if you're looking for a uh, transfer proof lipstick that is not this form, not sorry, not a not like a liquid form. What am I saying? Not a liquid form. I'd say go ahead and get it. 
I do like the formula. All in all, it's a good lipstick. Two thumbs up. Um, so yeah, that those are my final thoughts. It is a hit. Uh, it was a surprise to be honest. So let me know what you guys think. Are you interested? Are you intrigued? Are you just like a little over liquid lipsticks and transfer proof liquid lipsticks? Let me know down below in the comment section and I will see you guys very soon.